Hey, you out months ago. <sighs> what the fuck is all this? Uh, okay, oh. What is all this? That's all. I... What? It's no, fan, what is it? It's fan mail, Dad. I, I mean, fucking just look at it. It looks like freaking trash. So, some of it is. It looks like all of it's trash. I thought you took this out to the trash. We took. Yeah. There's just a lot what of stuff. Hell? Look, yeah, what's that? I, I still don't know. Hey there, Jay's your old pal, Mitch Jagger. It's your woman of fan mail money. Guys, no. Fan mail ended, um, but you know what? I am happy to announce the return of Fan Mail Monday starting in like two weeks. Uh, so that gives you guys enough time to send me some fan mail. The P.O. box will be in the description. That's right, it is the same P.O. box as before because I never closed it. My dad never closed it. It's been open this whole time and these are some of the diehard juggies that said, you know what, fuck it. I'm sending fan mail anyway. I'm going to be opening these in a second, um, but I just need to talk to you guys about this whole fan mail situation. I know you guys have a lot of questions, and one of the biggest ones is, did you burn the fan mail? What the fuck kind of YouTuber are you if you just burned all the, all the mail that your fans sent you for the sake of a video, for a series? Guys... I'm going to give you the short answer, no, I did not burn the fan mail, come on guys. I encourage you to go back and watch that video, Psycho Dad Incinerates Fan Mail, and also the video right before it, or maybe a couple before it, where you get to see the fan mail in the little room, where I eventually uh, was locked in. Look into that video, come back to me and tell me if you think there is fan mail in that burning fire. Come on, guys. Why, you think I would burn? I love you guys. Like, you'll never find a YouTuber that loves his fans as much as I do. I would never burn your mail. I still have every single letter. Like, some, a lot of people throw their shit away because it's just so much. I keep every single letter, everything, even down to the littlest Lego piece. <laughs> or the littlest Pokemon, the most irrelevant Pokemon card, even the energy cards. Um, I did not burn anyone's fan mail. No. And the P.O. Box is still open, so guys, send me some mail. Do not send me money, do not send me valuables, do not send me electronics. And that's something I used to say throughout the series in fan mail. Um, but yeah, I want to see cool fan art and stuff dedicated to the series, and now I can do fan mail out of character, because whether you guys realized it or not, uh, every fan mail episode, every Juggies powwow, and every Q&A, I was in character. So when I at, you know, when the question was, oh, the second video is real, Naturally, yes, because that is my character. That's his life. You know, he gets offended if you if you ask that. Um, even the fan mail episodes, I would insert things that are in character. So this will be the first time I'll be doing fan mail out of character. You can send me questions. You can send me art. You can, you can send me whatever you want, funny shit, and, and we'll open it on here. And I think fan mail is going to be a lot more fun. You'll get to see me doing it in my real personality. And, uh, yeah, also with the powwows and the Q&As, I was answering as if I were in character, and there was a lot of things in there that added to the lore of the Psycho series. And, you know, the powwows especially, you got to hear Jesse's, like, uh, skewed advice towards life things, and there was a lot of things that, that were very relevant to the series at the time, and Jesse's dis discussion on them. Um, and, and some of which I hope also helped you guys. So, a lot of you guys have been asking me, and I know the haters have used it as like the poster child of of taking down McJerry Knights. It's like the number one thing. He scams children. He fucking scams children and takes their money and he's a fraud and doo -doo -doo -doo. everybody, you know, that's like the number one claim, guys. I've never scammed anyone. Um, I, I've never I've never taken money. Here's the deal, I'll address all concerns regarding fan out right now. Uh, I started fan mail just like any other YouTuber uh, has done because, uh, you know, I think it'd be cool to get art. I, I can't draw myself and I, I wanted to see like cool pictures and, and to see if people would actually send me things. And so I started fan mail. I got a few letters here, here and there. Um, it was maybe in the, the third or fourth, like a few weeks in where, where somebody sent me like a couple dollars. And uh, I forget whether it was... Uh, no, fan mail started before we did bracelets. I know people started sending me money for bracelets, and I'd have to, I'd have to send them bracelets through the mail, and it got really awkward. Um, but 
people started sending me money and I was just like, what the fuck? So what I did was, and there's a video on it, I took all the money I had, I then doubled it, and I sent it to charity. I actually donated to a domestic abuse and violence charity uh, for young children, which I thought was perfect for the nature of the series and what we were trying to do. And uh, I think it, you, you guys really helped me and, and we helped them together. And following that, I think it was maybe like a little bit after that, I, I started saying, don't send me stuff, don't send me money, don't send me electronics. People. You know, people sent me, uh, there's one guy who sent me a PS4. I still use that to that to this day. I actually needed a PlayStation 4. And, well, you know, you never need a PlayStation 4, but it was cool to have. I didn't have one. So I made sure, you know, it never went, uh, it never got harmed in the series. And I still play it to this day, which is awesome. And thank you, Fernand. I actually appreciate that. I never got any other consoles as far as video games go. I actually sold them off and then put it towards giveaways. I mean, I'm going on, this is our fourth giveaway, maybe the 12th or 13th console we've given away. So, I mean, that's a huge deal. So I'm never like taking anything for granted. There's a lot of things I had to send back. People, people would literally blackmail me. Uh, they'd like send me a PSP and be like, either sign the, get your whole family to sign this and send it back or you're gonna keep it and I'll sue you and shit like or like here sign this hundred dollar there's like so many ridiculous fucking things in fan mail and um, as far as why did I end fan mail people were like oh it's cuz he felt bad no it's not cuz I felt bad cuz I wasn't doing anything wrong it was because that's the way the series needed to go my dad needed to cut off my ties to the juggies my audience my YouTube and it just showed the dark, the darkness brewing and, and how everything was taking a turn for the worst and how he's controlling every aspect of my life and fan mail was always designed to end that way. Uh, so I hope that answers a lot of you guys' questions. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to cover. Um, regardless of any of that, the things that, that people sent me, uh, I mean, a lot of YouTubers get sent that shit. I mean, re in, like regardless of the series, like people get sent consoles, people get sent games, that's actually a, a pretty common thing. Not only that, but you know, very few will send them back. Like I have sent a lot of it. Like somebody sent me like three hundred dollars cash, and I literally sent that back. And first of all, you shouldn't be sending cash in the mail. Um, and the parents shouldn't be letting their kids just send a random YouTuber. And also, it's like when I say don't send me shit, that's not like reverse psychology or anything. I literally mean don't send me shit. And and for the most part, the the for at least the last like 42 weeks, so the first eight weeks, you know, we, we dealt with it with the charity thing. But the last 42 weeks, nobody really sent me any money or, or valuables except for like that PS4 and, and shit. And even then I sent a lot of stuff back. So guys, I hope that clears up everything. You guys are allowed to like me. I'm not a scummy person. <laughs> There are a lot out there on YouTube, um, but I am not one of those. I love you guys to death. I would never burn your mail, and this is cool that people actually still uh, send me shit, even with the P.O. Box closing. Um, so yeah, you guys can start sending me stuff now. I think in the description from here on out, there will be um, the P.O. Box in there. Oh, sweet! A t-shirt that says Sabretooth Rock. Very cool. Thank you very much. I... I I miss fan mail. It's from Ghost Robo. It says, wash me before wearing. Oh, I, I would. I would do that. Uh, guys, I'm trying. If you guys have any more questions regarding fan mail and what happened, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse. This is supposed to address everything. I'm trying to think if you guys had any other questions regarding fan mail. Um, here we go. Dear Ghost, I believe your exact words were. What is this? What? Dear Ghost. Who's Ghost? What is this? Is this for another YouTuber? Oh my gosh, if, if that's the case. I forgot how ridiculous spam mail is. You just get some of the weirdest things. Like here's a Samuel Adams uh, beer bottle opener. I don't drink, but hey, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll uh, give it to Psycho Dad. Hey, maybe I'll have my dad or somebody on fan mail one day. So, dear McDermott, I've been a subscriber since you had 200,000 subs. The first video I came across was Psycho Dad Smashes Xbox 360. I'm sorry for what's been going on in your home. Jeffrey doesn't have much room to talk. Every time I watch one of the vlogs, he's in the house playing games or taunting you with something. All right, keep it rigid. I'm 13 from New York. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, keep it rigid. I don't think he has his name on here. Uh, it's from a homie. All right, cool, man. We also have some Game Informer magazines, which I actually have these because I am subscribed to Game Informer. Before I get any deeper into fan mail and some of you guys maybe stop watching or whatever, uh, this is literally a male enhancement drug. Somebody sent me this. See? 
See guys, this is what, what fan mail, uh, there's so, mm, I, I'm, I'm starting to have second thoughts about keeping fan mail going. <laughs> uh, it will most likely be every Monday. I'm going to wait a few weeks for the mail to accumulate, um, probably maybe two, three weeks and we'll start it up. But I wanted to say, uh, this is obviously a big video because I know a lot of people have, have had questions about fan mail and I hope I address them all. If you have any more, leave them in the comments. Um, if not, I think I covered everything. But we have a cool, we have some cool videos coming. Uh, first of all, tomorrow is the very first behind the scenes video you'll be getting. Um, it kind of bothers me that it's out of chronological order, but I think it's the most kind of irrelevant behind the scenes throughout the Sega series. So I think you guys should watch this first. Um, it takes place the night Juliet was about to graduate from college and I had got her something for her graduation that was seen off camera um, or, or that happened behind the scenes. I didn't want to show you guys because Jesse supposedly is a piece of shit. Um, but it's a pretty cool video, I think, and it, it gives you a little insight into our actual relationship and uh, you'll get to see me with long hair and the beard again. So I just wanted to let you guys know what you're in for tomorrow before it just all of a sudden is playing and you're like, wait, Jesse has a beard and long hair again and Juliet's still in school, what's going on? So that's coming out. That was maybe shot a month and a half ago um, and clearly it was at the end of the series. So when we eventually get into more behind the scenes, it, I, I, I don't know, I might go chronological order or I might not. Um, we'll have a special announcement or almost like a poll coming out later this week asking you guys what you want. What do you want to see it? Um, but yeah, we're going to, I'm going to see Juliet uh, in like an hour. I'll be with her for a couple days. You may not see any vlogs. Uh, we're just going to spend some time together, but I think it's important uh, that you guys watch, watch tomorrow because it's, I, I think it's pretty cool. And we're going to see this Broadway show Hamilton. So that's why that's coming out tomorrow. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, Jiggies, it's time for everybody's favorite part, the lightning speed round. We have around 20 to 30 letters that have been accumulated over the last four or five months uh, since the burning and the P.O. Box closing. So I'm super excited. Guys, I just want to say real quick, I love this aspect of the Psycho series because unlike anything out there, you're able to send fan mail to a character in a show and you're able to talk to that character and influence that character and believe it or not, as me and Aunt Jackie were talking about yesterday in the Haunted Fourth of July vlog, that the interaction from the fans into the show has actually changed the course of the series as it's gone along. So I mean, just for a moment, take say like Game of Thrones. Imagine you could send a letter to Jon Snow in the series, he would then read it and it would change the course of the show. Just picture that for a second. Or you could send it to fucking Walter White when he's cooking his meth and say, hey Walt, love what you do. Could you send me some meth? And next thing you know, it gets worked into Breaking Bad. I fucking love this aspect of the Psycho series. And there's so many times where I've received mail, I can interact with you guys, and then we can do something in the show that corresponds to a letter. And it's happened plenty of times, believe me. Um, so that's just something that, that I think is really fascinating and cool, and it, and it might be incorporated into whatever I work on next, because that's just crazy. When you can interact with characters of the show, and then it changes the story. I think that gives the audience great power, and that's just fucking sick. All right, guys, let's get started. So. It's just, uh, once again, I just love it because you guys are, are writing to, to the character and when you read how, how much people will feel for the character, that just shows the, how, uh, how well the series has resonated. Dear Jesse, I'm Trent and I subscribe to you on every single one of my devices and YouTube accounts and watch your vids since before your dad had thrown the white Xbox in the pool. The way he treats you is wrong because YouTube is a real job because you get stuff and money sometimes. I'm really a big fan and if you could give me a shout out on YouTube, I would be happy. I'm seventh grade in Pine Grove. See, just like that right there, and you know, I would get a lot of letters and, and I'd have to be in character and, and say, hey, you know, my dad is a piece of shit. You're right, no, it, it sucks. And uh, it's just interesting. It's very interesting to see people so motivated to send it. And I don't know, it's just cool. Dear Sl Slip Gator, I'm 12 years old, my name is Clinton. What? This sounds like a standard cookie cutter letter. Who is Slip Grader? Why am I getting random mail to, to not make jerk nuggets? What is this? How does the, how do you mess that one up? Feel, here we go. Hello, my name is Destiny. I've recently seen your channel. I'm one of your subscribers. I've seen how your dad treats you and I think it's horrible. So don't let your dad get to you. Be yourself and keep it rigid. Uh, be a YouTuber. Whatever your dad says, just be yourself. Love yourself. Never think bad. And 
and it's important because you know not only are they are are, are people you know seeing themselves in the character but they're sending like fan mail to the character and through through that process people can can feel better about themselves and feel motivated and it's just a cool interaction hey jesse my name's alex i came across your videos not so long ago i'm in no way of any kind of disrespect saying that this is that i'm not a fan or of anything of youtube i've seen a lot of your videos i don't know if it's real or fake and i'm not siding with all who commented on your videos but if your videos are real i will try to keep this letter brief but i can say this in no way of being competitive with you but since i was a kid to teen playing video games, I could say I was a bigger gamer, probably more than you will ever be. Ho! Oh, I was a huge collector, anything video game related, from Halo, Mario, uh, Banjo Kazooie. It took me over 18 years to realize what can I possibly gain from this. I've been going to church most of my life. Uh, it's talking about video games. Dang. I'm talking about being a Christian. Uh, wow. Wow, this is an awesome letter. Um, Between the friction between you, your dad, and brother, all you you all need more than respect. Respect can come later. What you all really need is love. Not the love you can find in this world, but only from the only one who invented love, which is where I was talking about God. Wow. Alex, thanks for that letter, man. Keep it rigid. Hey, Jesse, my name's Aziz, and I am uh, from an Arab country in North Africa that is called Tunisia. Uh, it's been 16 years since I was born, and all that time I spent, I noticed that this place is hell. Um, this shit is too goddamn, what does that say, hot in the summer and too goddamn cold in the winter. I've been a juggie for about two years, and uh, after you got 100k, I've been subscribed. I might have liked you because your family is fucked up as much as mine, because you're a really good guy. Uh, I know I will never meet you, because we're from two different countries, hell, two different continents, but I feel a connection uh, between all the juggies worldwide. Congratulations, the new house even though that shit is most likely haunted and that house is more haunted. <laughs> I wanted to say good luck, man, with your life. And I'm waiting for you to be streaming again. Don't forget to keep it rigid. Wow. Aziz, thanks for this, man. It's so cool. It kind of makes me sad to see uh, references to the series. Like, this was sent to when Jesse was living on his own for a week in, the, in Jackie's haunted house. There's an awesome drawing right there. Cool. Um, that's sick. Read off camera, Jesse. This is important. Gotcha. I will do so. Hey guys, if you've really never thought I cared about my fans, I mean, you can just look in the vlogs the last couple of days. All the people that I go out and meet at the gate. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty common thing. Uh, here we go. Dear McJerrigans, my name is Seth. I'm 12 years old. Sorry my handwriting's bad. I, I made you and Corn a license. Sorry if I spot it wrong. I made you a Halo 4 little poster. Uh, oh, sweet. Well, thanks, man. Seth, keep it rigid, dude. I'm excited to see what kind of things you guys will send. Always remember the wingless eagle from Ryan. Oh, and he has a picture of it right there. That's pretty good. I'll miss it. Not only was it destroyed, but now I'll miss it in real life because it's getting fixed up. I drew you a picture of the wingless eagle the best I could. You inspired me to be a video game filmmaker. Uh, I haven't started yet because I got a lot of equipment. I hope we can play Xbox sometime from Ryan. Keep it rigid, man. Thank you for that. And that's that was the goal. That was the goal of the Psycho series. Um, I think Jesse's character is very much an inspiration and all the shit he went through with his family and, and just other life shit and how he kept going, it's admirable. You know, he may have been a little goofy and, and uh, crazy, uh, but, you know, I admire the fucker. Dear Jerry, you're my favorite YouTuber of all time and I go through uh, some times when my mom takes my stuff away and also go check out my YouTube channel. I sincerely, Chris. Thanks, man. Keep it rigid. Love the drawing, and uh, hopefully uh, your mom's a little more lenient on the gaming. Because honestly, I attribute a lot of my knowledge to gaming. So here's an interesting. Here we go, guys. Here's an example. Uh, I just received a five dollar bill. It says, "Dear Jesse, I hope I spelled your name right. I am Brent Jones. I also have a YouTube channel, and your videos kind of got me started on YouTube." Um, I hope you know that you got me started on videos. Uh, I also hope you have good luck finding an apartment and getting away from your dad. So this is around the apartment hunting phase. Hope you're able to read this on one of your videos. It says, P.S. Enjoy $5. So basically what I would do with this $5 and any other time, I would put it in a little pile, actually a baggie, and I would save it up until I have enough to afford a console. And then next thing you know, you guys would have a giveaway. 
Ah, you've, you know all my secrets now. Um, so it's kind of the equivalent of like a Twitch donation when, or like a Kickstarter type thing. It's like you guys are helping fund the consoles, um, but you know, I am paying for 99% of it. Dear Regenerates, I watch your videos and I love them. My name is Gianna and I'm nine years old. I drew you Master Chief Head. Uh, so, wow, nine year old has better handwriting than me and I'm 23. I like your brother fix your gaming room. It's really cool. Tell Demma I said hi. Also, I can't believe your brother moved out. Well, I better go. I don't want to waste your time. P.S. Do you still play Halo? I do, actually, from time to time. Thanks for that. And that was right towards the end. Me talking to Demma and Jeffrey moved out. Nice. There's the Master Chief. It's cool. It's cool that everything's from a different time period right now. So subscribe to McDermott's. And you guys should do that. A lot of crazy things happen on the channel. I mean, just this video alone, I mean, addressing the uh, fan mail situation, I think is uh, pretty cray cray. Hey, Jesse, my name's James. I want to say I really love your YouTube channel. I have been a Juggie for about a month now, and at the end of the day, when I'm done with work, um, shows and other daily errands, I always look forward to the next video up and coming. Uh, let me give you a little introduction to myself. My name's James. I own a show that I perform at nursing homes, coffee shops, and restaurants. Cool. Um, but I'm always looking for new opportunities. Ah, oh, sick, man. Uh... I just wanted to say I think your girlfriend, brother, and Uncle Larry have awesome channels. I'm really sad that I found you guys' channel. Uh, I always enjoy... Oh, glad. It says that he's really glad. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I always enjoy watching him. Thanks for Jesse. Thanks, Jesse, for reading my letter. I hope I can meet you guys all someday. And... Uh, your channels are awesome. Just keep it rigid. See, and what, what just happened was a $20 bill comes out of this, and he wants to buy a black t-shirt XL. Um, this has happened a lot and what we do is because you know we're all nice normal people I would then take this $20 an actual t-shirt would end up probably costing around closer to $25 uh, and then plus shipping uh, maybe around $30 we were adding taxes so what we would do is you know what you know we would take this and we would get you a shirt and um, unfortunately we would we'd lose some money in the process but like we appreciate it all the same and, and we're just glad that you even are fucking interested in buying a shirt. Um, but guys, do not, there is a way to do it and you just go online on NC.com to buy shirts. Um, I, that, I do not want that to be a thing going forward in fan mail. And you can see the struggle for me, I hope, um, where I can't really enforce these things, you know? I can't decide, I can't be the one to put the stuff in the letter. I, I, I get what I get, I say what I need to say and, and explain myself, but you know, you can't stop someone from sending something. That's the struggle here. Wow, this is crazy cursive. Dear Jesse, I've been watching your videos for quite a while now, and after many uh, of constant video watching, I totally re regret the original thought that ran through my head. I regret the days that I thought your videos were fake. I've never been so wrong in my life, and I am so sorry to say that I am a huge fan and a committed juggy. I've actually started watching your videos about a year ago, and I have to say that I honestly, I was honestly a hater of your work. Uh, before I had stopped watching your videos for the longest time, but after I have moved to California from my uh, birthplace of New Jersey, I had my friends, my grandfather passed away about a week after I'd arrived here. I'm about three months in, I had a rough time. Weeks have gone by and every day I just had to see the next video. It felt like a very long TV show. Uh, You've even inspired me to make my very own YouTube channel and for now, I currently only do gaming, but someday I hope to uh, branch out. Don't let anyone bring you down telling you that YouTube isn't a job because it is a way more of a job uh, than what those haters have. I actually have started uh, buying your merchandise. I love it. I currently have your bracelets. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, Ethan, keep it rigid. Thank you for this letter. Uh, that means a lot, and I'm glad I was able to help you. Says, hey, Rigid, my name's Jay Barron, a creator of your YouTube channel, Walking With Giants. You may have seen my mini cookie videos. My work has gone viral uh, many times. I've been seen about 20 million times in the past two months. Uh, I've heard Giants once says he's willing to give shout outs. Well, there you go, Walking With Giants, Jay Barron. There you go, man. Keep it rigid. That's awesome. You're getting some solid viewership there, dude. Just leave Jesse alone. I think it's a picture of somebody with, uh, somebody crossed out my dad. Dear McGerrans, my name is Devin. I'm from Toledo, Ohio. A little bit of fan you're called mcjury nuggets what your characters are psycho brothers psycho kids psycho dad psycho mom psycho aunt and psycho girlfriend my favorite youtube channel is psycho dad drowns xbox psycho mom divorces husband so there's one thing you guys should know and i'm kind of inserting this in middle of fan mail so some of you guys might not see this but 
it was sometimes really hard for me to be in character reading some of this shit because there were some letters that call me out for being fake and then I have to quickly get really defensive or sometimes cut it out of the video completely. Or this letter in particular says, some of my favorite videos are Psycho Dad Drowns Xbox, Psycho Mom Divorces Husband. I have to really quickly, like I'm reading these so fast, I have to quickly get into character and think, how the fuck would I respond to that? Somebody's favorite video is of my parents divorcing and I'm just like, but at the same time, Jesse uploaded these videos, or at least most of them, in the story. So it's like, fuck, like how could I, how honestly could I upload the divorce of my parents? So clearly there's a, a sick side to Jesse. I mean, we all know that from the ending, but uh, you're my favorite YouTube channels along with Boogie, Kid Behind the Camera, Angry Grandpa. Oh, that's awesome. All my homies from Devon. Keep it rigid, man. Thanks for this. Uh, oh, here's some sticky notes. Dear Jesse, the two months inside are for your father to read or the two notes. I don't know if it'll work, but I hope it makes him understand the things he's done to you has got to stop. What would be crazy if somebody sent me a letter I gave to Psycho Dad and changed the whole story completely? I mean, that would be wild. If you want to know what they say, go ahead and read them. P.S. I got you something for your girlfriend. It's a lucky charm. Oh, I'll actually be going to see her. I'll make sure she gets this. I'll put this in a little pile. Uh, whatever you do, do not let your father see it. He might break it. It's best to keep it safe in your pocket just until you give it to her. Love you, Jesse. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Michaela. I appreciate that. We kind of had the letter, or the Juggy letters influence Psycho Dad um, when he finds the family in the room, because I remember he grabs a handful of letters. Yes, we, we handpicked those letters, but they were, well, not all of them. Most of them were letters from the Juggies. Um, here we go. This is her letter to my dad. This isn't a threat or a disrespectful joke. It's the truth and I advise you to be better uh, to you, for you and your family's future. What you did to Jesse's gaming room was unforgivable. You could have seriously killed him and his friend. That's true. Don't you ever do that again or one of these days you're gonna accidentally break your son's neck in anger and regret it. Then his mother is never gonna forgive you for murdering one of her precious sons. Well, you should flip that around and that's how it ends. Please, I beg of you, seek a therapist's aid. We tried that to rid yourself of this dangerous monster inside of you. Damien? Please do it for your future, for Jesse's future, and the rest of your family. Thank you if you read this letter without burning it. And have a wonderful lifetime. <laughs> Michaela's a savage. Keep it rigid, Michaela. Thank you for the epic defense. Maybe I'll still show that to my dad, and he'll be like, what the fuck? My dad sometimes would love getting letters, other, other one, ones that were like death threats and shit, and I'm probably not so much, but some of them he was able to laugh at. When the P.O. box got closed, there was a lot of people actually sending fan mail to our uh, actual address because that's all they thought they could send it to, and that started to get annoying. But. Dear Jesse's dad, oh, this is Michaela still. Dear Jesse's dad, for a long while you've mistreated your son, your wife, and your brother. Wait, your brother? You're talking about Uncle Chris? <laughs> Yeah, yum yum. At times like these, instead of breaking things, you should take a deep breath and calm yourself. It's okay to yell a little, but not destroy everything you get your hands on. You seriously need to get a therapist in order to control your anger, or else you're going to tear your family's hearts apart even more. It's also unhealthy to allow your anger to strike your nerves. That could someday kill you when you reach your golden years. Please get yourself out for your family's sake. You don't want to end up alone and miserable for the rest of your life. Please, sir, do it before it's too late. Before it gets you killed. Mmm. Oh, well, somebody sent me a card. To say, Majorians, we are brand new to YouTube and just want to say how awesome and helpful your video, How to Grow Your YouTube Channel, was to us. We appreciate the time you took to put that out there. Oh, sweet. We then started going through your other videos, and needless to say, we're hooked. We'd love to have that shout out you mentioned. Thanks again, uh, Charlotte and Josh. Four geeks and two cats. That's our YouTube channel. Well, thank you for that. Keep it rigid. That was from May 26th. That's right at the end of the series. That's cool. Um, if you guys ever need, like, tips or anything, maybe I'll start, like, a little tip series about growing YouTube. I don't know. Dear Jesse, I'm a huge fan of yours and watching your vids since 2015. You and your brother are really cool. You two got YouTube accounts, game systems, and social media accounts. Thanks, Isaiah. Keep it rigid, Isaiah. Thanks for that, man. Got a few more letters left. Oh, here we go. Dear Jesse and Psycho Dad, quit hollering and screaming at Jesse and quit breaking all this stuff. No wonder your wife left you. Oh my god. This just shows that some people can be pretty, like if this was real, my god. You overgrown ape, if I was Uncle Larry, I would personally kick your ass. How about try to kill you but, and then also run into your pool? Um, I, would, uh, I would sue you. You ain't nothing but a hot-blooded animal. That's bullshit, you asshole psycho shit. Get a job, psycho dad. <laughs> psycho dad, get a job. Leave Jesse alone. He's making money on YouTube and has a lot of friends. He don't need you messing with him. Thanks, Tyson. Tyson, keep it rigid, man. That was awesome defense.
I love you guys defending me like that. It's sick. Dear Majerus, I'm writing this letter to you because for one, I'm an absolute fan, and two, I was hoping for some sort of a shout out. I thought they said they were two years old for a second. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck have I done? <laughs> I watch your videos and I follow most all your tips for a successful channel, but it still isn't growing. I know it still takes time, but I'm a bit impatient, so it seems as if it's taken a year. Uh, well, Ginger Plays, that's the channel name. Um, I think you know my, ch my story. Uh, first seven years, only 200 subscribers, so. I don't think it gets much worse than that. <laughs> Just remember, you know, uh, struggle is a good thing. And then eventually, when you succeed, it'll be all that all that more better. Is that even a sentence? Hey, Jesse, uh, tell Corn I said I, uh, as in drugs. What? I'm from Illinois. My life is hard, too, but we have to pull through. Add me on Steam. Um, my friend... Oh. Sweet. Vinny, thanks for this, man. Keep it rigid. Guys, thank you for all the letters over the course of the last four or five months. I can't believe that was it. Um, I thought for sure some of you guys would be skeptical on, like, maybe call the post office or, or uh, still send shit anyway. Uh, I guess some of you get did, not as much as I thought. I uh, hope I answered all your guys' fan mail questions and concerns. Yes, the P.O. Box will be open. We'll be starting it up in a couple weeks. Tomorrow you'll get your first taste of behind the scenes, so be excited for that. Um, also... Uh, there's going to be a huge announcement when I get back from Juliet's in a few days uh, regarding how we're going to be delivering these behind the scenes to you guys, how you want them, and perhaps even a new YouTube channel to announce. One that I think is a little exciting, but it won't be as active, um, but I just think it's neat. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Sweet. Now uh, the fucking uh, haters of the world have nothing to go off of because I haven't done anything wrong. Alright Jason, <laughs> love you all to death, and don't forget to have an awesome summer, and keep it rigid.